That sure was one crowded roomie at Jennifer Aniston's 50th birthday party held inside the Sunset Tower Hotel in West Hollywood on Saturday evening. Not only was Jennifer Aniston's ex-husband Brad Pitt there, but so was her ex-boyfriend John Mayer, according to People. Add to make it even more interesting, Mayer's old flame Katy Perry was also in attendance with current beau Orlando Bloom. Jen was married to Brad from 2000 until 2005 and she romanced Meyer from 2008 until 2010. Katie was with John from 2012 until 2014. She has been dating Bloom since January 2016. The important people in her life gathered to celebrate with her, an insider told People. Brad fits into that group, and it was natural that he would want to come. And it seems Meyer, who Jen has not been pictured with in years, also is on good terms with the friend's vet. Also at the party were Ellen DeGeneres, Reese Witherspoon, Kate Hudson, Demi Moore, Robert Downey Jr., Jason Bateman, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Barbara Streisand and Pitt's ex-fiancé, Gwyneth Paltrow. As far as Jen and Brad, there is no romance. Entertainment Tonight claims the two hugged and briefly talked, but the once upon a time in Hollywood actor spent most of his time chatting up his Ocean's Eleven co-star George Clooney. Brad, who is in the process of divorcing Angelina Jolie, wanted to support Aniston because the former couple have been friendly in recent years said the source. Aniston put her ex-husband on her invite list weeks ago and Pitt was in town and happily chose to attend to help her celebrate the milestone birthday, the site alleged. Though they didn't have much interaction at the event, he was seen hugging her. It was added that Pitt did not stay at the bash the entire night. He came to support her, spoke to other friends of his that were there and headed out, noted the insider. Another source told DT that the actor was having a great time. And he also talked with his Troy co-star Bloom. Jen and Brad have remained friends and have spoken with each other quite a few times since they both became single, a source said. They are friends and have supported each other through some tough times. They've come so far since their marriage and plan to stay friends for life. There are truly no hard feelings between them. They both realize that any time they cross paths people talk about a reunion. He came on his own and quietly entered the party. They had heavy security, kept a ban on social media, and hoped for the best. And a source told The Sun, Brad and Jen have stayed friends for a long time, but it was awkward for them to meet up when he was with Angelina and because no one saw them together, people assumed they weren't friends. They are. They want everyone, all of their A-list mates and their exes, to know they're on good terms and friendly. Brad coming along to a huge event like that was a public move, but he doesn't care what people think, he and Jen are friends, they support each other and their relationship has come a long way since their divorce, and even since his split from Angelina. A source told ET last February that Pitt and Aniston do stay in touch after they both split from their spouses. He was married to Jolie with whom he raised six kids, and she was wed to Justin Theroux. They have each other's cell phone number and communicate from time to time, the source said at the time. This is nothing new. Jen and, Brad, have remained friendly. Jennifer, whose birthday fell on Monday, attended the soiree in eye-catching style, stepping out in a stylish all-black jumpsuit with Chris Gross detailing on the back. With her golden locks styled in voluminous waves and her makeup applied in typically impeccable style, the star looked relaxed and happy as she was fated by her famous friends, as well as her actor dad John Aniston. On Monday tributes rolled in for the beauty with her hairstylist Chris McMillan sharing a topless photo of her and Theroux posting a fun image, 